about whether intracervical insemination of sperm is as good as intrauterine insemination of sperm. Now, wh why do you ask this question? Because with donor sperm, often some people believe that since there is no male factor in fertility, inseminating the sperm in the cervix or self-insemination which may be carried out outside hospitals are as effective as intrauterine insemination. So in this study, which looked was published in Human Reproduction, which looked at around 421 women, of which 210 women had intracervical sperm injection and 211 women had intrauterine insemination. This was a natural cycle with LH surge being detected and 24 hours after LH surge, the insemination was done either into the cervix or uh, as an intrauterine insemination. If you look at the results, and this was carried out for about eight months for the maximum of six treatment cycles. If you looked at the live birth rate with intrauterine insemination was 39% and the live birth rate with intracervical insemination was 24%. So statistically, doing intracervical insemination was not as successful. Now, so what was the recommendation from this paper? The recommendation was that in, women, in gay women, it is, would be better to do intrauterine insemination and that would give you a better chance of success. The question is that if there is no male factor in fertility, why wouldn't intracervical insemination work? And that could be mainly because in the case of frozen sperm, its motility is restricted and delivering the sperm closer to the uterus and uh, to the tubes may facilitate a better fertilization. Thank you for listening. See you next time.